Hey guys, I'm drinking my apple cider. I'm feeling a ton better today. I got a really good night of sleep last night. So I am still just slightly under the weather, but I feel like I've got a much better handle on it, which is fantastic. So today we're going to be talking about the variety of beading um, components and findings that we carry on our website, which is www.softflexcompany.com. We're going to go over um, how you use these different findings, why you would choose them. Um, we're going to go over crimps and crimping, crimp covers, eye pins, head pins, the whole gambit. Um, so it'll be a really great show for anybody who's brand new to beading and they're trying to learn about all these different components and when to use them and why to use them. Um, today is going to be a great show for you. If you'd like to win a 20 count, four 20 count packages of our Softlex 2 by 2 millimeter crimps, make sure you like and share this video. And at the end of the live show, I will pick a winner and post it, um, in the name of the video so and I'll contact you to get your crimps out to you hey Kristen glad to see you guys are here I'm gonna just um, start moving around here so we can get into place and start taking a look at some of these fantastic components I did want to mention a few things here at the top of the show we do have a couple of winter wonderland kits left we made a few more of these than we normally do um, so that they wouldn't sell out right away so that Folks in the middle of the month could still grab one, hopefully. Um, so we don't have too many, but if you want to get one, now would be the time because we are starting to get really low in numbers on this guy. Um, and a lot of people are starting to get their kits, so you'll see it popping up in the VIB group um, where people are getting excited to open their kit and see what's inside it. The video date on this is January 2nd. You can find the kit at www.softlexcompany.com, and Kristen will post a link, I'm sure, uh, to the kit. And then we have a few left. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. have a few left of these, too. This is our Holly Jolly uh, bead mix. Um, which is what we used in the last kit. And it has um, some really cute tassels, some cute little Christmas trees, snowflakes. So if you're looking for some last minute fun beads to make Christmas designs, this is the way to go. And um, we have a limited supply on this as well. And we're starting to get lower and lower on the quantity. So grab one of those. And then of course our new Holly Jolly Trio goes with it perfectly. Um, if you want to just make some fun Christmas earrings um, right before the holiday. Hey, everybody. I feel so much better today. I was saying at the, the top of the show, I got a really good night of sleep last night. I, I'm feeling like I'm turning a corner here. <laughs> I'm actually going to be doing a lot better. I usually switch out my chair. Um, so it's not a rolly one for the live show, but I forgot to switch it out. So if you see me kind of like, whoa, rolling around, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to flip down and we're going to start talking about some of the components that Softlex carries. Oh, Marty got her winter wonderland kit today. Thank you, everybody. I'm glad I'm starting to feel better too. Feels good. Okay, so let me move this down. So this is the sale we have going on right now on our website. It's uh, 20 to 45% off on all beading components. It's 45% off if the item is already on closeout, and there are quite a few components on closeout. Um, so you can get that really, really lovely deep discount. And um, let's get started right at the top with what I think is the most important of all of the um, beading wire components, and that would be crimps and crimp covers. Um, so we're going to talk about the different sizes, and I'm actually going to show you um, how to crimp every size, and then uh, the two by twos with two different crimping pliers. Patty, you didn't catch my cold. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Okay, so I'm gonna flip open this guy. These little tiny guys are the one by one crimps. So this is what you would use if you're like anchoring beads in place on the wire. They're super duper tiny. You're gonna use a micro crimping plier with these. 
They're also uh, can be used with our very fine 010 beading wire. If you're using it to string because your beads just won't fit on any other diameter, then you would use the one by ones uh, to attach your clasp at the end. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and crimp one of those using the micro crimpers. If I can get one by itself. So um, what's nice about the one by ones is that they will fit on a single strand of any diameter. I think even 024, which is our thickest. This is of course our soft flex beading wire. I can't find the end. There it is, it's just sticking, there we go. This is our soft flex beading wire and you're looking at it in a red coral color. Uh, which is great for this Christmas season. And I am going to slide this tiny one by one crimp on here. It just barely slides on there. Look how tiny that is, you guys. It's so tiny. Okay, so if you wanted to anchor a very small bead, like we're talking like a four millimeter bicone, maybe a large seed bead, something with a very small hole. You would put your one by one crimp onto the wire. We'll go a little deeper because I'm going to actually crimp all three sizes so you can compare. And then you're going to use what are called micro crimpers. It'll say it right on the handle. You can also find these on our website. This has a really tiny uh, hole and, and rounder um, here at the front and then a really tiny crimper with a little tiny tooth uh, there in the back. Yeah, it is the same as the one in the trios pack. It's the same red, red coral. Well, I guess it depends on which trios pack we're talking about. If we're talking about uh, this one here in the Holly Jolly, it's at, it is actually the same color. It may be coming up different because it's behind a baggie. Um, and also, this is on a black spool, which is probably making it also look. And it's if I catch a different light, it'll change colors too. So it's a really true red, like a really deep, lovely red. Okay, so with the micro crimpers, you're gonna use the back hole first, which is the hole with the little tooth. I'm gonna come up closer so you can kind of see what's going on here. And you're just gonna gently compress, and it's gonna create just what looks like sort of a little divot in your crimp tube. So tiny, you guys. And then you're going to turn it and compress again with the top hole, which is the rounder. And you'll want to go around it several times, tightening it down. It's so tiny to see. It's like really hard to even see on the screen, I think. But we're going to do a comparison of size. So this is what it looks like after it's crimped. And that's on there good. It cinches it down into the nylon coating so it's not gonna move around. And you would string your bead on and then you would do the same thing on the other side and it almost disappears because it's so tiny. It can be really hard to even see what's holding the bead in place on the wire. Um, so that's one way to use it. And then of course, like I said, the very fine is so thin, you can actually go through twice. Let me grab a spool of very fine and we'll, do one of those two. Uh, let's see if I have a black instead of white. Black's a little easier to see than with a silver crimp than the white. So this is our soft touch. Um, this is the only brand we have that comes in this very, very fine diameter of beading wire. This normally would be for stringing extremely small gemstones. We're talking like diamonds that have such small holes they won't go on the 014, emeralds, rubies. Sometimes they drill them just so tiny because they want to keep the a weight of the carat weight of the stone up. Um, so they have these immensely tiny holes. So that's when you would use something like this, a very fine um, in the soft touch. So we're gonna take our very fine, this is only seven strands of steel, it's so thin. We're gonna go through that one by one crimp, through a clasp, typically, maybe I have one here. We'll attach to this ear wire just for fun since I have it out. And then back in 
to the tube again and then just bring it down to your finding and you want to twist those wires so they're side by side look how tiny that is and again we're going to use those micro crimpers in the same way we're going to do a little tooth let's see if i can find it a little tooth at the top get where you guys see a little bit better so you get a little divot there and then we're going to do the rounder which is the front hole I'm just trying to get in here and not get my ear wire too. And then you want to go around it a bunch of times with the rounder, just kind of tightening it down. So that is what you would use a one by one millimeter crimp for, those little tiny ones. And you definitely want to invest in the micro crimping pliers with that. So like I said at the beginning, if you want to enter to win uh, four 20 count bags of our crimps in the two by two size, make sure you like and share this video to enter to win. For those that have joined us since the start. Okay, so next up we're gonna talk about the two by two millimeter crimps, which are the ones that I'm giving away today. We have them in four different metal tones, um, which is great. We have them in our sterling silver here. We have them in our gold filled. Got a couple clasps in there too. And then we have them in copper. And we have them in one brand new, I have it over here. And I don't have a spot for it yet. Someone told me I have to get another one of these um, containers. I have a new black two by two crimps as well. Um, so four different colors, <coughs> excuse me, four different colors. Um, and you're gonna win a 20 count package of each color <coughs> by liking or sharing this video. I'm just going to take a quick drink. That cough still sneaks up on me. We're going to use our new black ones and the 2 by 2 And we're going to go just right on the wire next to that one by one. You can see the size difference between those. And I'm going to use my regular crimping pliers. So these are the blue handled ones that don't say anything on them. The other two say micro, which is what we used before, and then mighty. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. We'll make sure you like and share the video so you can win some free crimps. Okay, so same thing with these pliers. They're just a little bigger. They've got the little tooth, and then they've got a rounder. And I'm going to use that tooth first, uh, what I call the crimper, to crimp, and then I'm going to round it out. So first I come in to my crimp, my two by two crimp, and compress. And then I'm going to use my rounder to round it out. And I'll just go around it a few times. And that's the difference between those sizes. Look at how different a one by one is versus a two by two. Huge difference, right? So like I said, the two by twos come in four different metal tones, um, black, copper, silver, and gold filled. And you'll get one of each if you win the giveaway today. I'll pick the winner at the end of the show and I'll post their name right away. So make sure you like and share this video as soon as possible. Okay, so next size of crimp is the three by threes, which I have up here. Now this is the big guy. This is usually what you would use to um, do multiple strands of wire. So if you've, you're doing like a, say like a three strand design and you need all three strands to go through and then through your clasp and back in again, this is gonna be a great crimp for that because it's got the size in the center, a three millimeter size to fit lots of strands of wire, um, which is really helpful. 
I love to use these with like my Kumihimo designs where I've got eight wires um, to finish those off. I also use them when I'm knitting frequently because I've got multiple strands of wire for that. Um, so it is pretty important. Kimberly says with my two by twos, I use my magical crimper. I got them from your all, you all a year or so ago. Yeah, I'm going to show the magical crimpers too. Thank you for reminding me. Um, so we've got our mighty crimp and I think I can do it on one single strand, um, but I don't know how well it'll hold, but I'd like to see all three of these crimped side by side so you can kind of compare and contrast. So these are the mighty crimpers here. They've got a big tooth and a big rounder and um, I'm going to just come into my crimper compress and of course you'd normally have multiple strands of wire there not just one so I'm not sure if it'll even hold on to here but we'll find out Oops, so far it just wants to kind of slip and slide around doesn't it let me see if I hold on to it better here we go I'm just going to keep going. Now, the size will be a little different when there's more wire running through the center. It's um, It doesn't show it really true to size. But just to give you an idea, this is the one by one. This is the two by two. This is the three by three. So there's a big difference <coughs> between the, the multiples there. So two by twos are the most commonly used uh, crimp for sure. And um, let me grab one of my gold two by twos. And then we've got all four colors of metal. So this is a gold filled Softflex uh, two by two. Now, one thing I should say, not all crimps are created equally. I talk about this all the time. You can find some really chintzy crimps on the market and they are extremely important because they hold your whole design together. So you want to be really careful in choosing your crimps that you're getting a seamless crimp, which is a solid tube, and um, that you're getting a crimp that isn't so thin walled that it's just going to sort of fall apart. You'll hear people talk about it all the time on my videos. It can be very annoying uh, to work with one of those crimps and have it kind of fall apart on you. So I'm just gonna crimp with the magical crimpers here at the end. So this is how you would attach a clasp or a finding, um, which we're gonna go over a bunch of different findings today, is you would put the wire through the crimp tube into your finding. Uh, maybe it's an ear wire like we did with the soft touch um, or a clasp or something, and then back into the crimp again. And then you kind of want to straighten your wires out inside your crimp so you get a nice straight connection. So this is my fourth pair of pliers that I'm going to show you today. They're the Magical Crimpers. Um, and they have a little uh, hole on each side that is identical that the crimp tube will fit into. I'm going to... Center my crimp tube inside the hole as good as you can. It's always so hard to see if it's centered with the camera in front of me, <laughs> but we'll see how it turns out here. If you do it right the first time, you'll get what looks like a little four corner square ravioli. You're going to turn it on its side in that same little round notch and go over it again. And then you're just actually going to go around and around same notch, just rounding it out. And it's going to turn it into what looks like a little ball, uh, but it's actually attaching something to the wire. So now we've got our one by one, our two by two, our three by three with the regular style crimping. And then we've got one two by two over here um, in the magical um, crimper. You can kind of see the difference. So this would be a comparison, the two by two here and the two by two here. So then the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to crimping is I want to talk about crimp covers, um, which are also kind of an important part of this. 
if you're using like the regular crimping, you may want to cover with a crimp cover, which we also sell on our website, which looks like a little open-faced bead. So I'm going to grab my um, crimping pliers and I'm just going to hold on to that little opening in that crimp cover in the rounder. And then I am going to slide this crimp cover over the top of my two by two. I'm using a three millimeter crimp cover over the top of my two by two millimeter crimp tube. And I'm just gonna slowly close it down. You wanna go nice and slow because it will sometimes twist if you're kind of holding on to it just a little sideways. And if it twists, it can be very hard to finish it off. So go slow. And then I like to come in on one side and just tuck one side under and then tuck one side over. Um, so here is kind of a comparison here that I think is, is useful. There are times where you, you may be anchoring a bead in place on the wire or your last bead on your design will slip over the top of this two by two millimeter crimp that's been done with the magical crimpers. That is an opportunity to use the this style of crimping and a crimp cover because it's so much bigger, it's going to anchor that in place. It's not going to slip inside a bead as easily as this little guy will. Can you use a crimp cover on the Magical? You absolutely can. So it doesn't have to just be the tube. You can do it on the Magical as well. Okay, so we've got um, four different sizes. We went over four different styles of crimping, and or two different styles of crimping in four different sizes, and then we went over crimp covers. So let me look at my list. I think we're on to wire protectors next. Um, so let me take a look at those. We sell these on our website as well. I almost never show you guys using the um, how to use these in the live shows because um, I don't really think to use them very often because I really like the wire colors. Uh, but this is something that I'm going to snip this off. This is something that you might use um, if you are really picky about the end of the wire and how it appears. Um, in your design. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but if you don't like the wire color peeking through, um, it really isn't necessary for protecting the wire, I have to say. It's um, more of an aesthetic thing when it comes to soft wax. Now, if you're using a different brand of beading wire, that may not be true. Some of the other brands do break a little bit more easily. And so they would really require a wire protector um, to protect the wire from the clasp. But for us, our wire is so strong, you don't really have to worry about that too much. So it's said that these ones are for medium. Let me make sure I have the right size. It says it's a 20 count wire protector, silver filled. Oh, for 010 or 014 soft flex wire. This is just, I saw this medium. So let me grab an 014. I was gonna say, I think this is a little thin. And that's true, like when you do the thinner um, diameters, I'll use the soft touch. When you're doing the thinner diameters, like we were looking at earlier um, with the one by one crimp, it would be good to use a wire protector because it is a lot thinner of a wire. So I could definitely see that as an option if you're having to string something on this thin of a wire, you may want to protect your, your wire from the clasp. So I'm stringing through my one by one millimeter crimp tube again. I'm going to take my wire protector and there's like a little hole here that you string through. It's like a little kind of like a horseshoe with two little tubes on the end. You're going to take the wire back and around and it strings in the other direction too, like that. And then um, both wires will go through your crimp, just like normal. 
to see if I can get them to both behave themselves. And then you kind of pull it snug. So the wire is actually running through the top of the thing. And then um, you can kind of tighten that down to the wire protector. So that's when I would get my micro crimpers, which again have that little tiny tooth and the little rounder. And I would come in and use my tooth and then my rounder. So you would, um, if you have a clasp that you're attaching to that doesn't have an open ring, you would slide that clasp over the top of this wire protector before you crimped. You would string it through. Um, if you want, you can always use like a jump ring, which we're gonna actually jump to talking to next, so that's handy. Um, let me find my cutters. And you would just trim this off right at the crimp tube, and then you'd have your wire attachment. It is a very finished look, I agree. I have awfully big jump rings here. I would probably use a much daintier jump ring, um, but just for um, getting through today, we will take a look at this. Um, so I've got my chain nose plier. Ideally, you would use two chain nose pliers to open a jump ring. I don't have another one sitting right here, so I'm gonna use the very tip of my crimping plier to open it. You want to open it um, side to side rather than pulling it out because that will ruin the nice circle shape in the jump ring. We carry tons and tons of different sizes of jump rings and different metals. And then if you wanted to attach your clasp or your ear wire or whatever, you could attach it to the jump ring. So this is where jump rings come in handy. Um, Kristen uses jump rings a lot. I especially noticed when we were doing Seed Bead Revolution that she used jump rings on almost every design because she feels, and she explained to me, and maybe she could explain further in the comments, she feels um, worried about finishing it in a way that she can't change it. And um, so she always attaches to a jump ring and that way she can lengthen or shorten it and um, add a different clasp or you know she can has a little bit more options at the very end of her design which I thought was really interesting some people use just jump rings uh, to make jewelry so they'll actually um, do really fancy uh, pieces where they are linking their jump rings together and they'll make jewelry out of just the jump rings. So you can make your own chain, all sorts of really cool things. Kristen says, if I want to change a clasp or change a size, right? Just a lot more flexibility if you're using a jump ring. There's two different styles of jump rings. There's the open jump ring, which is what we're using today, which you can actually physically open and close. There's also a closed jump ring. So that has less flexibility. That would be more um, if you're attaching to it permanently. And it would be just a solid circle, no openings. Um, split rings, that's a great one because I want to talk about that one too. I have a package of those here as well. We carry split rings at Softlex as well. And um, dump some of these guys out. So the difference between a split ring and a jump ring is a split ring is sort of like a tiny um, keychain, and it allows some flexibility like an open jump ring, but it also doesn't have like an opening split in it. I'm opening up some split ring pliers, which we also sell, of course, on our website. Of course, of course. Um, so the split rings are cool because they are like a little keychain. You can actually use these split ring pliers on keychains too, you guys. They're really, really handy. Okay, so you've got a little opening here, and then you would slide something on it through that opening. And the split ring pliers just help to open it up and make it easy to access um, where you're trying to 
where you're trying to get something onto the split ring. Like I said, though, it's these are really handy for keychains. Much easier. Yeah, these are really handy pliers. So anyway, you would slide your thing on all the way around. And if you didn't like it, you could always open it back up and slide it back off. So split rings are a very handy uh, item as well to have. And okay, so let me see where I'm at on my list because I want to cover as much as possible. Okay, so we've got a huge um, array of clasps at Softlex. We have um, your basic lobsters, of course, and I'll show you how those work if you're not familiar with soft flex um, or beading in general. You may not have seen one before, so we're gonna look, gonna look at this. This is a basic lobster clasp, comes in a lot of different metal colors. I think we had them to match all of our crimps, our four crimp color covers, and basically you just, Pull on this little latch here, it opens up and then it can click onto a jump ring. Ta da! Lots of different options in lobsters. We also have a lot of designer clasps, and especially those of you that have been watching our live sales, if you've liked some of the clasps that you've seen, I grabbed a few from the gallery. Uh, just to show you, but there's a pretty large assortment. This is a toggle, so the little bar actually slips inside the circle and anchors it down. And we have a few different options in toggles, more than what I'm probably even showing here. I love this big heart toggle. This is gonna be great for our upcoming Valentine's Day. And it's sterling silver. Um, this is sterling silver, I think this one's Gold. Oh, it says Verme heart toggle clasp. So all of this is 20% off right now, at least. And if it's on closeout, you're going to get that extra discount. It's 30% off normally. It's going to be another 20% off on top of it, which works out to about 45% off. We've also got um, some just basic slide clasps. This one's neat because it slides out and it actually hits a bar, so it's like a double locking mechanism. Really pretty. I think this is gold filled. Let's see, gold filigree large. I think, I'm pretty sure this is a gold filled clasp, and it'll say on the thing. This one is a really nice 14 karat gold in a one strand flower clasp. We've got a sterling silver. This is also a double lock. It slides out and catches a bar. And then you slide it down. And you get two in the package. And then these are cool. I think we sold some of these on a live sale from our samples. And um, basically it's like a little swirly. And then it's got like a hook that slides inside of it. Very cool clasp. And it looks like you get three of them in this package, all sterling silver. We also have multiple strand clasps, so if you're looking for a way to do multiple strands but not have to use those mighty crimpers and a mighty crimp, you could crimp to each one. You could also do six strands from this and do one, you know, two strands from each of the loot links. Same with this guy here. Really lovely, beautiful clasps. And we even have lobsters to match that new um, black crimps that we just brought in. They don't say, oh, I just bumped with my rolly chair. Uh, they say gunmetal on them, but they match the new black crimps really well. If you're looking for a component to match it. We also have new ear wires in this color too. So you can match your ear wire uh, to the crimps. Let's see, if you haven't yet and you wanna win some crimps today, make sure you like and share this video and um, you will be entered to win a 20 count package of crimps in two by two in all four colors that we offer. Okay, so what's next on my list of things to cover? We got clasps. Speaking of ear wires, so this is your basic ear wire here. Um, 
and it sometimes have a, has a little ball, sometimes doesn't. Sometimes it'll have a ball over here and like a little um, twirly thing on it. But um, they all basically work the same way, regardless if it's an ear wire. You're gonna open it to the side like a jump ring, slide your design on, and then close it back up as tight as possible so your wire is not gonna slip out. Easy to use, really, really important. Um, and they come in lots of different colors and metal types and things too. Um, so, and there, you can never have enough ear wires or crimps for that matter. It's definitely like one of those things. If you can get them now while they're on sale, it's totally worth it. Another type of earring that you can get is a post, which will have your little nugget on the back that slides in. And most posts made for a beading project will have a little loop or something to connect your beadwork to at the bottom. These are beautiful little triangle posts that we have on our website. I just used these recently in a video I did for YouTube. I really like those a lot. I grabbed one other package. Oh, here they are. I saw these posts too, which I think are pretty fun. It's like a little checkerboard, a little square checkerboard. Fun and different. And then one other style of ear wire that you can find is a lever back, which has a little gadget back here that flips out and then flips in to close it. So these are nice if you lose your earrings really easily, they slide out of your ear. You might wanna think of a lever back um, to attach it. I noticed that the, the little link up here is open too. So you could open it like a jump ring and slide your design on and then close it back up. And these are copper, so they're pretty, antique copper, they're pretty inexpensive already. You can get another 20% off on them now. Love these lever backs, nice ring, not too big. Yeah, they're a really nice size, I agree. Okay, so that kind of covers earrings. Um, I wanted to talk about head pins and eye pins. Let's talk about that next. So this is an eye pin on the right. This is, oop, this is a head pin on the left, which has like a little nail head on it. So the two different ways that you would use these, let me grab a bead, find a bead somewhere here. Lord knows I'm never short on beads, right? Hopefully the hole's not too big on this that it slides over the top of that. Let's try it and see before we get too far along here. So, important point for your head pins. You don't want the hole in your bead to be so big that it'll slide over the top of the base of your head pin. Head pins come in different gauges. They're thinner or thicker. They come in different lengths. I'm gonna guess this is about two inches or an inch and a half at the most. Um, so you kind of want to decide, you know, when you're buying a head pin, what you're going to be doing with it so that you, you buy the correct head pin for your project. Um, cause it will matter once you get into it. Okay. So head pins nice cause it stops this from moving around. And then with your round nose pliers, you can come in fairly close to your bead spin the wire toward you, pull it up and over, change the direction, a little bit of your pliers so they're on the side so you can pull all the way under. And then I usually grab my chain nose pliers to hold on and wrap. And there you go. Now I'm just going to trim that off. And I've got a little dangle that I can use. And the last thing I would do is just tuck, tuck in the end of that, that little wire. So that's why you would use a head pin. 
an eye pin you're going to connect. So an eye pin you would actually, maybe even if I wanted to connect another bead to this dangle, I would slide my crystal on. And then I'm going to actually use my my um, chain nose pliers to make a really nice 90 degree angle and come in with my round nose pliers and come up and over the top. This time I'm going to um, just make an open loop so I'm not going to close it so that the two sides can match. And then you may want to just straighten it out, close it up really nicely, and then you've got a little connector with your eye pin. So we can open up our eye pin on this side, and we can actually attach the dangle we made with the head pin. And there you go. So eye pin makes a connector, head pin will make a dangle. Quick and easy. You can keep going and make a really fun earring and attach your ear wire. Ta-da! So quick, so easy. Okay, so we covered eye pins and head pins, jump rings and split rings. Um, I had a couple other interesting things. I wanted to show you that I, I know are on the website that I think some of you might really love. These spacer bars, sterling silver spacer bars. You get two in the package. They're three strand spacer bars. They're gorgeous. They're so pretty and they're very heavy in weight. They're not dainty um, by any means, but they're so really lovely. And I think there are some folks out there that are going to really love these at the 20% off uh, mark. I'm not sure if these are on closeout. They might be. I know we're not planning on ordering them again, um, but they're really, really lovely. So I want you guys to definitely take a look at these and someone will post a link um, to these spacer bars for you to look at. I think they're really fantastic. And... Um, the other thing I wanted you to take a look at is this really cool finding. These might have been custom made for us. I'm not sure, but basically it's got a ring at the top, which is where you would connect to your necklace, and that has an open tube at the bottom, and you can string strands of beads through there. We have them in at least two stones. This is the garnet. Um, but we also have them in another uh, type of stone. I forget what it was. I feel like it might be like amethyst or something. Uh, but they're really pretty, very unusual. And I think that there's some folks out there that should take a close look at these. Because once we sell out of these, we definitely uh, won't be getting them again. And I feel like it's a custom design that you can't really get anywhere else. So take a look at those too. So I think that's important. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about our uh, Crystal Squared L line, which is all on closeout um, and at great prices. And there's lots and lots of options. There are charms, um, like these little florets. Let's see what they're called. This is a flower sterling silver charm with faceted light Colorado topaz Austrian crystals. So these are some of the items that are 45% off when you use the coupon code. Um, we've got the, the, the little flowers. We've got little diamonds. All come in different colors of crystals. They come in different metal tones, black, silver, and uh, gold little hearts. You could get ones with little pink um, crystals in preparation for Valentine's Day. We've got these little cute little round ones that are adorable. Um, we've got the three different metal tones in the beads. So these are actually 
square beads with crystals running around the outside of them. Lots of different colors of crystals. And then you've got the black finish, the silver, and the gold finish. And then the beads actually come even in different sizes. So you've got your small and then your big. No coupon necessary. Just put it in your cart and your price should show up properly. There's single strand toggle clasps that are beautiful. And then there's multiple strand toggle clasps um, that are beautiful. They're really, really fun. And I think, um, I think you guys should take a look at it while they're discounted so deeply and you can really have access to the full product line on uh, the website. We sell them sometimes in a live sale, but it's a very limited you know, run of what we can show in a live sale, whereas on the website, you can really mix and match the different products in the same color and get you know your clasp to match your beads and, and whatever. So all right, so that's kind of a run over all the different kinds of findings um, that you're going to find in our finding sale on the Softlix Company website. Please remember um, to like and share this video. After I shut the video down here in a few minutes, I'm going to pick a winner right away. So make sure you share and like as soon as possible so that you're entered to win the four packages of 20 count Crypt Tubes in the four different colors. Um, and just go to our website, www.softlixcompany.com. Add the items to your cart from the findings and components um, section and your discount should just automatically pop up. Um, and if it's on closeout, it'll be about 45% off. So it's a really good price on a bunch of really amazing findings. Um, and I don't want you guys to miss out on it because there's some good stuff there. So that's it for me. I will see you next week on Wednesday. We're doing a live sale for Mike Sherman's private collection. And I am looking forward to that. I saw he and Rosa were picking out all the beads and things yesterday. And Rosa's starting to process them. So see you all next week. Bye, guys.